Hello students, I am Mr. Ha. Today I want to teach you how to write rhythm. We will use the same software as last time, Chrome Music Lab. This time we will use two different percussion instruments to learn the rhythm writing. The instrument in left hand side called snare drum. The sound is loud and the pitch is high. Siu the instrument in right hand side is called bass drum. The sound is low and a little bit quiet. So let's get into the Chrome Music Lab and learn. Actually, there are three areas. The upper area here is talking about the pitch that we already explored last time. The area in the lower part here is the control panel. We can play the song, we can move the tempo, we can save or we can do other settings here. The middle part layer here is the rhythm section. That is we are going to explore this time. The upper part of the rhythm section is the sound of snare. It used the triangle to represent it. The lower part of the rhythm section is the bass drum. It's used the circle to represent it. And this time, I want you to use the same setting as last time. We are going to learn the rhythm, so it is really important to you to know how to count the beat. Here, this area is the first beat. We call it one. After the first thick line here, we call it two. After the second thick line here, we call it three. After the fourth, sorry, after the third thick line here, we call it four. No matter the snare drum or the bass drum, it is also beat four. Please pay attention. Here, although it is after the fourth thick line, but it is not beat five. It is beat one. Beat one of the bar two. White area is the bar one. Gray area is bar two. It is first beat of bar two. Second beat of bar two. Third bit of bar two, the fourth bit of bar two. Okay. So, in this case, every note after the strong bit here is the end bit. This is end. After the second bit, it also end. After the third bit, is end, etc. and etc. So I want to ask you. How many end beats in the whole song? Yes, you are correct. There are eight end beats in the whole song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, I'm going to teach you how to write the rhythm now. This is the first suggestion. The snare drum played on every third beat. The bass drum played on every first beat. Bass drum here, snare drum on the third beat, bass drum, third beat. And I, and I use your classmate work to play with the percussion writing. So listen. The sound is okay. Do you like it? If not, I'm going to give you the second version. This version, the bass drum is the same. Also played on the every first beat. But the snare drum is changed. It's played on every second and the fourth beat. So I delete the third beat and put it in second and fourth. Second beat. Fourth beat. Let's listen. The V 
feeling of this version is faster, but actually I I didn't move the tempo, so it's quite interesting, isn't it? I I want to give you the third uh, the third example. The bass drum is the same, put on every first beat, and the snare drum played on every end beat. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. There are eight and bit here. Listen. Okay, this is very interesting. Let's do a conclusion. Actually, there are three examples for you to put different uh, snare drum area. Okay. And the bass drum, you can put it, put it everywhere, irregularly, or you can put it regularly. It's also okay. I give you some example. Um, I this time I want to put the snare drum on the beat three, okay? And the bass drum, I put it randomly. Let's listen. The sound is also okay, so the most important thing is to put a right place for the snare drum. The bass drum can be more irregularly, okay? So, and actually there are other places for you to explore about the rhythm. Go back to uh, the main page. And then you can try the rhythm uh, area here. It's quite funny to play with this instrument. However, uh, this page cannot be saved. Uh, so, uh, if you want to let me listen to your composition, you can go to the Chrome Music Lab here to save and share with me, or do a screen recording to let me listen to your work here. So, this is the end of the lesson. I'm looking forward to your composition. Thank you. Goodbye.